What's going on YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys with the man, the myth, the legend. We got James in the house all the way from, well, Puerto Rico, Costa Rica. I was in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. From Puerto Rico, ladies and gentlemen, from Puerto Rico to Dallas to Arizona. We are in the Scottsdale of all Scottsdales where we salt our margaritas and not our sidewalks. Now, as you guys saw, in the title as well as the thumbnail of this video, uh, James made a sniper trade the other night. Uh, that was Friday night. Uh, we had actually um, a, a client dinner and James says, hey bro, I'm thinking that BTC is a sell. And he's like, I think it's a mad sell. And I'm like, okay, you know, let's see you go to work. He starts, he puts in a couple of trades and uh, He's like, let me, you want me to throw something on your account? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Cause we obviously got our trade copier and throw it in on my account. And here I am up 10,000 bucks by the end of the night. James profited over $50,000 uh, in literally one trade, one night, eight hours. eight hours. So eight hours. So it took him eight hours and you could have closed out a hundred. A hundred. Okay. Well, the, the most my account profit saw was 70,000 and then had I waited another 10 minutes after I closed, it would have been like a hundred. I mean, yeah. shoulda, coulda, woulda, obviously. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's all we shoulda, woulda, coulda, but um, we got so much phenomenal, you know, feedback on the video that we did on Zoom when James wasn't in Arizona. So if you guys want us to share with you and show you exactly how he made $50,000 in one trade, that's what we're gonna break down right now. But what you guys need to do is you guys actually need to smash the thumbs up button on this video, as well as come subscribe if you guys are brand new uh, here. And so uh, the reason the reasoning that I have James here in Arizona is obviously our business partnership, our trading, uh, a lot of goals and, and dreams and, and really just curating our entire businesses together. Online. We're here to buy Lambos. We're here to buy Lambos as well. But not only just that, you guys need to subscribe. And the reason you guys need to subscribe is because every single time uh, that James and I have the opportunity to, we're going to come to you guys with a video. We're going to share with you guys exactly the analysis that he had during this particular trade or a particular trade. We're going to keep you guys updated in terms of our profits, where we're at. You know, we're going for M's this month. So again, that deserves another uh, smash the like button. Okay. So let's just dive into this, James. I know you have your computer pulled up here. Yes, uh, just, just run them through. Uh, obviously, we're going to show you guys. We're going to pop over here on the other cameras you guys see right here. We're going to pop over and, and just show you guys exactly what his analyst was, what he was looking at, what he was creating, and more importantly, how you guys will have the opportunity if you guys are interested in these particular fire signals, okay, uh, to then definitely shoot me a DM on Instagram or follow Fortunes in Freedom uh, and uh, obviously shoot that page a DM. But uh, James, I'm going to turn it over to you, brother, man. All righty. And this is we're getting here? Yep. All right, cool. Um, so, so Bitcoin, uh, you know, it's very tricky to trade, uh, it's super volatile, um, but there's definitely a lot of opportunity to be had on it. Um, first things first, you know, uh, I mean, you can see the chart has exploded, obviously, to the upside. Like, I ended up taking sells, but, you know, I'm kind of a counter trend trader, like, where I'll, I'll, I'm able to pick reversal points very precisely. So, generally, like, just building, like, before I even, you know, think about trading, like, I just want to build a bias, you know, like, of where I think, you know, what is my bias basically on the chart? So, um, you know, I, I don't buy at extreme highs and I don't sell at extreme lows. So, you know, Bitcoin, even though it is bullish, it, it's um, it's very high. So, like, you know, in my trading strategy, like I, I look for those imbalances in the market, you know, when prices are very expensive or prices are very cheap. And then, you know, I try to find my, my criteria for reversal, basically. So, so just going on the on the daily, you know, like Bitcoin has exploded from 10,000 to nearly 50,000. So naturally there's some room to, to catch some, some of these corrections, you know, here and there. So what I actually saw in this trade, um, the chart was looking something like this, uh, was like this, I believe I had seen uh, this is what the chart looked like on Friday, right? It was right about eight, eight o'clock when I took the trade on, on Friday night. So what I had seen here was one price, had, you know, price was definitely resisting a bit here. Um, so we have a lot of supply in this region. Um, so, you know, like this is basically like a dynamic resistance here. You can see how prices has rejected this area multiple times, uh, broke below it. And then, you know, it's, it's still was creating more resistance here. So what I had done was, um, I marked up this zone here. This was a supply zone, uh, on H1, right? And if you even, if you even, anytime you're confused about an area or, you know, you want to see if it's really valid, you can always just drag it out uh, into the future and to the past and just kind of see what 
how has price reacted in this area when it's been in here in the past? So we can see, you know, on the uh, February 9th, um, you know, there was a pretty good resistance here, a lot of exhaustion. Um, price ended up taking out these highs is barely, you know, it's uh, collected a little bit of liquidity here. And then the H1 structure broke structure here, right? So we have like a high here, a higher low, made it like a sneaky higher high, made a higher low here, failed to make a new high. This is your first lower high here. And then price took out all these higher lows here, creating our first lower low on the H1 time frame. So now we're, we're, so we're seeing signals of a bearish structure here. So, you know, these are the confirmations I'm, I'm thinking about when I'm entering this trade. So this is exactly what I had seen here when I started to enter the trade, right? So I had seen this H1 candle here, had come up to this high of the zone, and then it started to reject. The candle looked very similar to, uh, actually I actually have a screenshot of what it was when I entered, um, but the candle started to reject here. And then I was able to go down to a lower time frame to about, I usually use M5 or M15, um, you know, for my, uh, for my lower time frame analysis. So it was something like, it was this here. So, so basically when I trade supply and demand, I will wait for the price to enter the zone, uh, get some type of, you know, H1, H4 confirmation. And then I'll, I'll drop to the lower time frames to see the structure and wait for the structure to break. Because, you know, the overall, remember, our H1, with this candle here, our H1 structure broke. But now we're on a counter trend on the lower time frame. So we have these higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. And then we see right about here is when the structure started to break, right? We got our first lower low on M5 here. We cleared all these lows here. And then this was our first lower high. So this is really our first selling opportunity here. Um, and that's actually where I, I took um, the, the sells here. Uh, so I ended up shorting uh, right about here. I think I actually got in a little, uh, a little aggressively, a little early right here, but you know, it was still valid the whole way across. So the stop goes above your overall high. And then the take profit is based on, uh, is usually based on some type of, uh, if I sell out of supply, then I look to take profit and demand vice versa. If I sell, if I buy in a demand, I look pro uh, to take profit in a supply. So I actually closed the trade a bit early. I ended up closing the trade like right, um, right about here on this candle right here. Um, but if I had stuck with my analysis and, and trusted myself a little further, I could have actually made that. That's how I, I would have made the extra money um, because this was our, our H1 demand right here um, on based on this candle. So you can see price ended up coming into here and rejecting it right around six, seven in the morning. Um, so I missed, you know, I missed, obviously there's always gonna be profit left on the table. You're never gonna get a perfect, uh, perfect close. But uh, yeah, so right about here, an extra 15, 20 minutes, I would have caught an extra six, 700 pips or whatever it would have been. Could have been like 60, 70 grand, you know, something like that. Because right at this candle, at this point, I was up 70,000 here. And then it retraced all the way up. And I, I, was, I went from 70K profit to 13,000 profit. But that's where I entered more trades here. I entered, I entered another 30 lots. I entered 215 lots here, like nearly a perfect, at like 47, uh, 47, you can see right here. Yeah, right around here at 47, 530, 47, 540. So literally I caught the top of, the, of this, uh, you know, this lower high, this pullback right here. And then I closed it here. I saw like an M5 rejection. Uh, at that point I was, I was in profit. I was tired. I was just like, you know what, let me just close this trade. But it ended up going to that demand. You know, I made a double bottom here, exhaustion. I probably, if I had, I held it a little longer. I, I would have loved to have gotten a close, gotten a close right here. Um, so if you weren't able to close in that, you know, I, I see, I see it very clearly. Like I see the rejection, I see the exhaustion. So like that to me is like a very good, you know, if it happens in the right zone, you know, that's where you want to take your profit. Um, but you could even see the M5 structure broke back bullish here. So it, uh, you know, made this double bottom, created a new higher high in the M5 time frame, higher low here. And then this would have been your opportunity to close here. And then price ended up uh, shooting up off of that demand. Um, and then I was even looking at another sell in this area um, but this whole demand zone ended up being valid still. So I'm still looking at it for shorts. I, I, I still think price is very overextended, even though Bitcoin is bullish, it's great technology. I believe in the technology. I think long-term it will go up, but uh, $50,000 is, is an extremely high price for Bitcoin right now. So, so maybe it'll hit 50 and drop or, you know, somewhere in this region, though, I, I anticipate a, a further decline, but that's pretty much the gist of the trade. It was, it's, I'd like to keep things very simple, you know, supply and demand, wait for the lower time frame structure to transition, 
take advantage of the, your first opportunity. So just out of curiosity for you, James, just because people are still looking at the screen right now since we had a SD issue in another camera, <laughs> um, on this particular trade, what was your thinking? What was your mindset watching your profit go from 70,000 to 13,000 and then you just doubling down, putting in, would you Absolutely. say, 30 more lots? What 30 was that lots. mindset that you had well, there here, to just... Yeah, so here I actually, I entered here, right? I actually entered before this, like before this drop happened. So right around here is where I entered. Um, Cause I, I just, I mean, I, I, you never know, but I just knew this zone, zone was gonna be valid. So um, price ended up making this low here. Right around here I was negative, like around 10K. I entered more trades like right on, on at 48,000. Um, my mindset was just that, just believe, you know, at this point, like I'm just robotic when I trade, you know, like I don't even, I mean, obviously the emotions are there when you fluctuate, you know, 50 grand in, in, in 10 minutes or whatever it is. It's, it's never, it's not, I don't, I, I hope it gets easier one day, but for right now it's, it's definitely not <laughs> easy. So, um, but yeah, um, I just trusted myself and trusted the analysis and trusted that the structure was still bearish, even though, you know, it, it created, it took out all these lows here. So naturally there's going to be a pullback, you know? Um, and it wasn't anything too ridiculous. So I just, you know, decided to continue holding and, um, and it worked out, you know, it, it played out exactly how it was supposed to. I think you have to be, you have to be, you really have to be in control of your emotions. Like at the end of the day, you know, even though I do affect them, I just think, you know, Hey, like, let me trade. Like, like how would a robot trade? How would, you know, it doesn't have emotions. It doesn't think about these things about the profit. It just cares about the prices and, and what the market is doing, you know? All right, guys, so as you saw the chart analysts and James say that he is, uh, in fact, technically crazy in the uh, entire uh, whole trading aspect of things because I would not be able to watch a $70,000 profit account go to a 12000 profit. Yes, it is still in profit. But I'm the type of person, once I see the, the blue 70,000, I just automatically assume that that's my money. Right. So when it's when it goes from 70,000 profit down to 12,000 profit and in then re-put in 15 minutes and then re-put in more cells, yeah. like that would scare me. Right. You know what I mean? That would actually scare me. I scare so, myself too. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> but that's also why you made 50K in one, in one night. Right. Could have made a lot more. Could have made 100K, but you made 50K. You know what I mean? That's what you like legitimately closed that. So 54. it was it was 53, right? 54? 53, nine or something. 53.9. So $54,000, guys, in one trade. You guys saw it at the, at the beginning of the video. You guys are probably looking at this this trade right now, too. Like, literally, it is the day, and then it is 53,000 and whatever it is. Uh, you guys are probably seeing James's uh, rings as well as his watch and his phone right now as we're speaking, uh, just seeing that profit because that is literally insane. That is powerful. Uh, so again, if you guys have any questions, make sure and drop in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to see more videos of James and I and uh, breaking down the uh, chart analysts and, you know, really just seeing how much of a stud this guy really is, then make sure and subscribe, make sure and smash the thumbs up button. And if you guys are interested in anything, mentorship, coaching, uh, signals, as, or uh, our trade copier, then definitely drop in the comment section down below or shoot us a follow on Instagram. His Instagram is going to be right there. Just let him know where he, you are coming from, please. And uh, if you guys don't want to DM him because you guys are scared of DMing him because he made 50K in one night, uh, he's done a lot more than that one, but you guys can go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram at the Austin Lewis or come follow our business page at Fortunes in Freedom. Austin Lewis here, St. James. Dude, thanks for the chart analyst. I appreciate Absolutely. that. And uh, we'll see you guys in some future YouTube videos.